Hi, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and you're watching a Windows Phone Mango Preview. Next up, we're going to look at the Pictures Hub. Now, there's a lot of new things here. So first off, here's our primary menu. You've got the camera roll, albums, uh, you can sort by date. And here's a new one called People. And this is going to show pictures of people. Some of them are just recent contexts I might have looked at. And these are groups. Usually, uh, some pictures from those groups are going to show up there. Sometimes it doesn't. But you can see that. And these are people that I recently looked at. So let's try this one. So now this is loading pictures from the cloud, from Facebook, from Windows Live, all that are in albums for the people in this group. And I can look at any of them and even load some comments. So that's really cool, right there in the picture sub. And of course we can swipe to albums. And this is going to load all of my photo albums on the phone, on Windows Live, on the cloud, well, on Facebook, Windows Live SkyDrive is the cloud. And here's a bug. It also shows videos, which is good, but they don't play. Hopefully that's a bug that'll be fixed later, because that would be really cool. These are videos that were upload use, uploaded using Windows Live Movie Maker or uh, through Windows Live Messenger video messaging. And so those are just Windows media files, so you would think they would work. So there's all my photos. Those are the same as usual. You can access any of them. You can see comments. And there's some different things here. No longer does it just load random thumbnails here. It actually loads favorites. So I can see all my favorites. And there's a little menu down here, which makes it a lot easier to choose a background. Before you had to tap and hold on a blank area. It was uh, pretty hard to find, so now we have that. And of course the What's New feed is here, and you can choose to show updates from only certain social networks. So that's really nice to have. Now let's take a picture. Uh, we still have the Pocket to Picture feature. Go straight to the camera. Now I'm going to take a picture here. And now when I share to Facebook, oh hey, we're upside down. Check out what happens. Who is this? It's me. And now I can type caption. And over here is our menu. I can cancel, I can add more tags manually, or I can upload. I think I don't want this one uploaded. And I still can scroll right to my camera. And we still have this awesome feature. And what about the camera? Here's our settings. And look at this. Save settings. That's right. You were waiting for that feature. So these settings are all uh, extensible. So Samson added some of these themselves. You got a wide dynamic, dynamic range. You can choose the resolution. And then I can save that. And so it'll always be like that. Now here's the camcorder. And same with this. By default it goes to VJ resolution. And if you remember on original Windows Phone it would always go to VGA resolution every time you go to the camcorder. 
which was annoying if you wanted to take HD video. Now I just choose HD and hit save settings and we're done. Now watch this. That just took a picture. So that's the touch to focus and take a picture feature. All you have to do is touch the screen. It'll do its focus thing and take a picture because usually when you're focusing on something you're probably going to want to take a picture so when his phone just decides to do it for you. That's pretty nice. Let's look at the picture settings real quick. You got automatic upload to SkyDrive so if you want you can turn that on. Include location. That's an option. And here's a good option. Keep location info on uploaded pictures. So when you send it, do you really want everybody on the internet to be able to see where this picture was taken? Maybe not, so you can shut that off. Prevent accidental camera launch when phone is locked. This is that feature where if the proximity sensor is covered, holding down the button will not launch the camera. Now the reason this is there is because some people would hold their camera like this and try to press the button to open the camera and it won't work because their hand is covering the proximity sensor and the phone thinks it's in your pocket. So it doesn't want to be taking pictures while it's in your pocket but if you're holding your phone like this you're going to be confused. So we can shut that off. And here's the tap screen to take pictures feature. And you can choose quick share of course. And here's a video I recorded and you can just play it. This is in the pictures hub again. And previously on Windows Phone 7, that's really all you could do. Play it. Now here's a menu. Look at this. Share. Share on Facebook. I can email it, or I can post it to Facebook or SkyDrive. So that is pretty awesome. It doesn't automatically go to uh, SkyDrive like you can do it with the pictures. Um, but this is really awesome that we can now share videos. So those are some pretty good additions. Really nice uh, additions to the pictures hub and camera features. That's it for our pictures video. Be sure to check out pocketnow.com for a full preview of Windows Phone Mango as well as more pictures and videos. That's it for now.